Good afternoon, everyone. And there might be some short notice snow for some, but not all, of people in the Willamette Valley. So the setup for this, this originally started out as a rainstorm up until about last night when things started to show that it might be a snowstorm for some. So the current winds are starting to die down as the rains are picking up. It will continue to do so as we go further into the evening hours. And this will be a pretty heavy rainstorm or snowstorm for some because this is what's called an atmospheric river event, which is the types of events that bring the most precipitation to the area. And just for reference, last February was a good example of a lot of snow or ice in a short period of time because that was also an atmospheric river. The band of the heaviest precipitations will actually bring the temperatures down further because this band's actually behind the cold front instead of in front of. That's typically what happens because it's, because it's not, that's bringing colder air from the upper atmosphere further down. The computer models made the abrupt shift last night to showing just mainly a oh, rain in about 40 to 45 degrees to flirting with freezing and showing snow. I suspect, but I am not 100% sure that this is because of a busted model forecast Friday morning because that was not predicted to have much rain, yet there was a decent amount of rain in certain areas in the Willamette Valley. So... And we'll see snow plus other relevant facts in this case. This is the locations will heavily be dependent on who receives the heaviest band. This band will probably be a 30 to 50 mile wide portion of the Willamette Valley from north to south. The western side of the valley of the band will be further south, while the eastern portion will be further north because the band will be situated from southwest to northeast. Sticking snow should be limited to this band and will not stay around because rain occurs in the hours and days afterwards. Just as a note, I will mention that sticking snow can happen above freezing if the precipitation is heavy enough that can cause the ground temperature to actually get below freezing even if the air temperature is 33, 34, or even 36 like it occurred in Eugene and February of 2019. Just as a disclaimer, snow is not a guarantee anywhere. This may very well turn out to be just a snow in the air type event, but I think somewhere in the valley we'll see at least snow in the air. So just as an example of higher resolution model maps showing this band setup, and I'm including these in here as a basis for my forecast, these are the two models that were, have been most accurate with snow events over the past three years or so. On the left is a regional model showing the band situating from a little bit south of Salem to the southern edge of the Portland metro area, while the band on the or the model on the right, this is actually a NOAA model. It's showing from about the Columbia River on the north end down to a, just south of Salem. So, the timeline for the location in the heaviest band, 6 p.m., it should be about 50 degrees, still as most locations will not have received the cold front yet. At 10 p.m., I think around that time, plus or minus an hour, let's say, the transition to snow happens for most areas that would receive snow. Again, this is dependent on where the heaviest band sets up. It's, of course, going to be later further south because the band of rain is moving from north to south in this case. 2 a.m. and 6 a.m. is going to be close. I have the temperature at freezing because, again, this is going to be in the location with the heaviest precipitation. If you are further north or further south of that, expect the temperature to possibly be a little warmer than this. And then... Going into the morning hours, it should creep up above freezing after sunrise and should melt most of the snow off if any accumulates. So the snow amounts that I am expecting. So to start with the non-valley stuff, the coast range should receive 2 to 12 inches depending on elevation. Cascades, 
anywhere from about 1 to 16 inches, depending on elevations, higher elevations receiving more snowfall, and then the valley. I think anywhere in this blue area is the location where the heaviest band is most likely to set up. So as a result, I think anywhere in this area has a really good shot at seeing at least snow in the air. There's a good chance that most of this area will see some sort of sticking snow for at least a brief moment in the early morning hours. Most of you may not see that, however. For these green zones, if the band, this depends on also where the band sets up, if it sets up further south, Corvallis and Albany could get in on some of the action, but if it moves further north, then the rest of the Portland metro area can get in on some of the action. However, I think only one of these two green areas will see any sort of snowfall. And this is the only snow event I'm seeing the next seven days. However, something I should note is that a little bit further long range, there may be some more snow. I'm not crazy confident in that yet. We'll see when it gets closer in to the seven day range or so, but Otherwise, it's going to be mid-40s, cooling down after Christmas, and then low temperatures right at about 40 degrees with a pretty wet week overall. So thank you for watching. Please stay safe out there, and I will see you all later. And if there's any major updates, I will post it in the comment section as I do not have time to make another video on this. So otherwise, take care.